everybody. Welcome to our first San Diego Comic Con coverage. This is Ian here along with Chris. It's here. Finally, right? It, and, and it's a lot. <laughs> and we're not even no, we're there's, not to the busy stuff yet. No, uh, we're not. We're just kicking off. There's still, let's see, we had, we had the sort of prequel, if you will. Some of the appetizers, you know, like uh, last night because the, the show floor panels, none of that, the big stuff was open yet. We had today, and we still got three more days of this, at least. Well, two, yes, yes, but two two more, really. Sunday Sunday right. looks pretty weak. But yes, San Diego Comic-Con 2018, San Diego International, uh, or Inter- Comic-Con International. Yep. Call it whatever you, I don't know, mix it up however you want. I don't own it. <laughs> I don't really care. But it is here, and we are looking at Wednesday and Thursday, and actually a little bit before Wednesday. Yeah. You know, some of the news are trickling out early then, earlier than Wednesday. Uh, we're going to be looking at a bunch of the stuff that's come out. Now, obviously, it would be impossible to cover everything. And let me apologize right off the bat for those of you who are pissed that we did not cover the thing that you <laughs> wanted us to cover. Uh, feel free to tell us what you would like us to cover, though, in the days ahead. Uh, leave a comment below. Or email us at caseallmedia at gmail dot com. Right on. Um, but yeah, so you know, but we're gonna we're gonna focus on a lot of the stuff that we usually talk about on our shows, uh, comic book movies, TV shows, uh, you know, all kinds of fun genres with aliens and monsters and killing people and uh, you know, a lot of lot of killing people, especially <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow's all kinds of killing people with the Walking Dead stuff. Um, and then killing them again. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the, I think that's part of what's so great about that is you killed them once. Now you get to kill them again. Once just wasn't enough. That's right. That's right. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff here. And oh, yeah. so we're, we're doing this one kind of late. Um, yeah. but yeah, so here, here we go. In fact, it's actually Friday now. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, we've, we've already made the jump. I was saying, um, I, I know you were, you were real busy tonight. I, I was. I, I did my news roundup and I was kind of sitting like nodding. You're like, get some pep in your step. Come on. Well, we got That's right. to recording too. <laughs> it's it's Comic Con. I'm going oh, to dress up in cosplay and none of you guys are going to see it, but I'm just so excited. I did get to uh, see quite a bit of cosplay today through the uh, the Marvel live stream. Now, a, a couple of comments here as, as we're, before we're talking about news. There's a couple of things I really like with how this is set up, especially if you're not there in person to see everything. One, Thank you so much for posting a schedule. Thank you for laying yes. out all your events. It, shame on you, E3. Yeah, shame on you, E3. <laughs> laying out everything in a really clear, concise way to do a bird's eye view of what you want to watch. You know, when when I go to conventions, when I go to PAX and other things, like this is, this would literally be like part of the program you're carrying around in your hand. You know, or just like to look. Oh, this is like at this theater at ten, or this is here like at five, and you know, you 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 make your hit list, you make your plan, and you, you know, you go to it. Uh, unlike uh, some events that have unlike a, E3, unlike E3, yeah, and other get to consume and then barf Ugh. every day, take it all in, whatever, whatever they shoved at us, <laughs> and then barf out a review. Uh, and the worst part, that's pretty the, much what we had to do. Well, pretty much what you had much, to well, you had to consume it and right. then barf it out, and then I had to consume what you consumed. And then put that the video and barf that out. You, you can't st- just keep regurgitating stuff like that, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, if anything, it's just not healthy. No, it's no, no, it's just caustic after a while. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you shouldn't be eating barf the first time. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, that's kind of yeah. Dibs on seconds. But yeah. but, uh, d- d- despite all that, you know, I, even though you don't have as many like live stream stations and things like that, like for example, with PAX, there are certain theaters that. Uh, we'll consistently have a live stream. Um, it, it's the the news feed from this is interesting. So one thing I spent a lot of my time on uh, for the coverage I saw today was from Marvel. Uh, mm-hmm. Marvel have man from Netflix to heavy promotion for Spider Man on PS4 uh, to some of the uh, the other gaming rigs they got, and then of course talking about uh, upcoming comic releases, you know, upco- upcoming shows. Uh, they really covered a broad range. Uh, of things and then this, and some of this stuff you got to wait because there's panels going on that you will not be able to get a live clip into and th- this is this is a famous thing with comic con they they very very much hey you got to be here this is event only it takes me back to when we saw some of the early early footage for uh infinity war and mm-hmm. some of the very first teasers for avengers like y- y- that's when you saw your shaky videos 
people coming out with you know little cell phone footage of things and people had to like poke and guess of what is this and what is that because they they have a big policy about it saying hey you know no videos please you know we're not going to be yeah, live streaming this the rest of the public at large will get this at another time so uh, it, it's part pure hype injected right into your veins that you wait to catch right after these panels so you're you're looking through twitter you're looking for other posted news about some of your favorite stuff and then also uh, you get a bit from the uh, the live stream so i thought marvel did a pretty cool job uh relaying things if something kind of came up they'd end up talking about it or mention it uh, at some point on their stream which was cool so did they talk about cloak and dagger they did mention Cloak and Dagger, yes. A uh, mm-hmm. couple things. They uh, talked a lot of talk about shows. They talked about Cloak and Dagger. They also talked about uh, Legion, um, which I definitely want to tune in for tomorrow. i got to make sure I can catch that Legion panel. Yeah, but what could they the po- well, Is that, is that uh, tomorrow? I thought the Legion panel was on Sunday. Yeah, uh, they... I need to look at the schedule. There's something mm-hmm. There's something Legion happening tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay. Fact. But uh, maybe it, it could be... Uh, a live stream only interview, and the actual one you're oh, thinking okay. of is the one that's yeah happening in the actual theater hall. So, so what do they have to do? What do they have to say about old Cloaky and Daggy there? You know, they really and did they apologize? <laughs> no, <laughs> they they sort of they sort of just ran through that when they they mentioned it uh, along the lines when they were talking about oh the, so uh, they were they were running through all the lists of their shows exactly and they said cloak and dagger and that was all you heard okay Basi- I, was, yeah. I wanted an apology or an announcement that they're canceling it <laughs> it was basically a don't forget this is a thing and then going on yeah there, it's, so. <laughs> we need the bodies <laughs> give us give it to us no but... that's that's a shame cloak and dagger no, it is. It is. Yeah, you'll you will find our uh, re- reviews on what was the first six episodes, six or seven, uh, so five, six, it. something like that. Until we just it. couldn't stomach it anymore. No, no. All right. Now maybe maybe it'll maybe it'll use those pull itself up by its bootstraps and put on those big boy shorts at some point. But yeah, who knows? So, no, but they won't. But uh, hey, you, you know Marvel cosplays, DC, and everything—all that stuff in, in the good works. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to. Uh, we're going to jump into s- some specifics on that, but I, I, I want to jump right to the top of our list here. Now we did get some direct news, some more uh, footage of Predator. Ah, the Predator. The Predator. I'm talking about Alpha Predator, like twelve feet tall. Uh, will bash your head in, uh, Predator, which really didn't catch our attention too much. From the the first the first footage that we saw of this in the early trailers, this this is a marketing campaign that's steadily trying to improve itself. It's really trying to push more, really, you know, pushing the new super predator and everything. And it, the super predator. There's there's still a lot that feels the good voice. There's still a lot that feels forced about that. You know, there's all these uh, harkenings back to some of the original talent that worked with the Predator. And hey, you know, you'll hear like, you know, some old lines like, um, I ain't got time to bleed and wink, wink, nudge, nudge. There's this happening. There's that happening. And, hey, you know, again, the, the footage that we're seeing is better from the very first trailers released. That's good. Better. But this this one's still, you know, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't have that original Predator vibe. No, and no, maybe, I, no. I haven't had a chance to look at this stuff yet, so I'm. I'm you got my attention for sure. Uh, I, I, you know, I hope they are going to do a lot better. What that comes out you know, September? Yeah. yeah part part of me wonders is because is because we're talking suburban predators. Suburban predators. Yeah, I, I know. I know how that sounds so as, I, as I'm saying on, that. And then they and then during the week they go to their office job and they mow the lawn. <laughs> sure. But on they go hunting on the weekend. Yeah. You know, you hang, hang out, hang out at the baseball games. You know, talk to the soccer moms. You know, all, all the all the stuff you'd expect. No, um, for me at least, some of this has to do with environment. You know, again, I'm I'm taken back to uh, the original Predator, where you, you're you sort of don't know what's going to be around each corner. You're in this very unknown environment. In and jungle. Exactly, exactly. In part of the part of the terror of it was when and where this thing was going to strike, why it was hunting them, so on and so forth. And then even in the uh, the, the sequel, you know, the follow up, yeah, you know, you're in you have more of a, a whole industrialized feel to it, but still it it managed to keep that terror element. I, I don't I don't know. It, it maybe it was 
the lack of its appearance, I almost want to say, made us grow a little fonder to it. You know, it, it reminded me of one of the, the same things that sold the original Alien movie. Like, you saw shadows, you saw hints of it, but you didn't see it forever. And you, you had that one image seared in your mind from when it first burst out of that chest and went skittering off. And you were mm-hmm. left to wonder, like, all right, what is it? Like, what is this thing fully grown? Uh, but here, Predator, it's just, yeah, part of it could be, what do you think? I mean, I don't know, man. Brand fatigue. I mean, we know what we know what this thing is by now. We've seen it so many times. Uh, but no, 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 no. Ah, I'm grasping. It's, I'm grasping. It's, but. Yeah, it's lack of creativity. Poof. Yep. There it is. There you have so it. let's talk more about the crappy the pet the predator. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope it's better. Yeah. I hope, now you've seen this new stuff from Comic Con. Do you feel better about this? Because that first teaser came out and we were sad. Yeah. And then the full trailer came out and we were not as sad. Right. Where do you sit now? Uh my uh my sadness meter has moved further to, further towards happy. Okay. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing this then. All right. There it is. T- Ian says not so sad. Yeah. Tick the it, it ticked the needle. It you know, it, it, it didn't it didn't stay static, which is what I was uh worried about. Even though, you know, I'm I just feel I'm not as excited as I should be about this for a predator because I I have this is a series I've enjoyed. Uh, maybe just side by side of always like Alien and Predator, but uh this will be a tougher sell. Alright. No need to get to the chopper yet. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Uh, uh, I'll tell you when to do that now. Now is not the time. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, but but yeah, watch it. Um, uh, I'm sure. Heck, we'll we'll probably run over this. Um, we do our regular show. We'll probably mention this as well. Got everybody here. Yeah. Cool. Comes out in September. Go see it, or or not. <laughs> or don't. Or, you know, or, or, or kick back and wait for our spoiler. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a review. We'll let you know. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Hopefully, I was cleaning my glasses, so I wasn't ready for the next door. Do you? Do you need me to go to the next? No, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm eyeing, I'm sitting here eyeing DC, uh, and that's Batwoman. Yeah, yeah. Now, Batwoman, you filled, you filled me in on this one. I, I didn't know a whole lot about her history because when you say Batwoman, I'm like, wait, Barbara? You talk about girl, and you're like, nope. no, 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 different person, completely different character, completely different, different person. Batwoman looks way cooler. <laughs> did you look at images yet? I did. I did. All right. She, she is does cool. Look very cool. And as soon as you saw those images, you're like, oh yeah, I've seen her. Yep. You, yeah. you, you told me. You told me when you look. When you look at this, when you see the costume, it'll be familiar to you. You'll know. Yeah. It. Yeah. So everybody's uh, everyone's favorite uh, comic or com- yeah, comic book TV shows to watch or to make fun of the CW shows. Uh, you either do one or the other. Uh, I make fun of them. <laughs> Actually, I watch the Flash, though. I do watch the Flash. Anyway, so the Batwoman getting a get a TV show on the CW, adding on to show number fifty there for you go. this. It's like legitimately, I think it's show number six. Woo! It's a, it's a lot, <laughs> a lot. Um, yeah, getting a TV show now. They're going to introduce Kate Kane. Uh, that is that is her name. She uh, she's in Gotham, and they're going to introduce her this coming December in the annual CW gathering of the angst people, and um, <laughs> the angsty superheroes. <laughs> no, they, well, they they do a crossover. I guess it's every December. I didn't know they actually timed this thing. It's like it's like right. Christmas. Hey, everybody's together. Uh, and they're gonna yeah they're gonna introduce her in some storyline crossover then. Um. And then she's going to get her own show in 2019 at some point. So um, cool. they haven't actually cast her yet. Uh, the show is going to take place in Gotham City. Obviously, this is going to be like, well, where's where's the Batman? Especially because I believe even though she's very much her own character, uh, I, I believe she creates part of her suit at least to mimic. Right. Uh, mimic's not the right word, to, but to be similar to the Batman, which has not been seen in the Arrowverse yet and has nothing but vague uh, references towards uh, Batman or Bruce Wayne or incidences that have happened in the DC world uh, huh. in, in directly involving him. So they haven't actually seen him. He's like one of the last big characters in the DC world that you've not seen. Hmm. Um, so 
uh, like I said, they haven't cast the person yet, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm really liking the look, and I hope it's very similar. Right. Uh, um, so, all right. So here's the big, here's the big controversy. So, the character's been around since 1956, and ironically, created in 1956 because there were rumors and speculation at the time that Batman slash Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne was gay. <laughs> and to counter that, they made a love interest, and this was the love interest, and that was the initial appearance of Catherine Kane. Um, some say that this new one's her daughter or something. I don't, mm. some say it's not, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I don't know that much. I didn't see, I wasn't able to glue all that together. But, um, the character, after a while, they got rid of her, like literally blinked her out of existence <laughs> in, in the DC comics, uh, due to infinite crisis stuff. Good, good old crisis cleanup. Yeah. You can always count yeah. on it. Uh, but they brought her back in 2006. 2004, 2000, early 2000. Mm. <laughs> Something like somewhere that. in there. Somewhere in there. Somewhere during the Bush era. <laughs> um, and so, so they brought her back, but they made her. They made her a lesbian. She she was gay. Mm-hmm. Uh, to which she has been for well over ten years now. That's mm-hmm. been kind of the thing for the character. Also Jewish. Does that matter? Doesn't uh, matter that she's gay either. But you know, uh, they, they're they're putting these identity things with her. She's Jewish and she's gay. Hmm. Okay. All right, so a lot of people are kind of throwing fits about this, about SJW stuff and all that, blah, 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 blah. Right, right. Um, I, I don't care. Right. All right. I, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to at least watch a crossover. I'm going to watch a crossover event. That's fun. You know, sure, I watch some sure. Flash. I'll, I'll watch some Arrow. I, I know next to nothing about Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, Supergirl, Supergirl. I mean, you know. Yeah. Mutants. Yeah, it's Supergirl. All right. Um, yeah, I'll watch a crossover event because I am interested in this. This is, uh, you know, you're going to go into Gotham and you're going to do Gotham stuff. And even if they don't play with Batman much, if at all, yep. especially in the first year with uh, with the actual Gotham TV show doing its last season, um, you know, we're going to we're going to see Gotham villains. Right. Right. And that in enough is enough to, you know, bring people in. And yeah. Saying, All right. Here comes you know. Here comes Arrow versus Riddler. Here comes Arrow versus Penguin. Um, you know that's going to be awesome. Yeah. That that that's fun stuff. One one thing they've I, th- I think been doing a pretty good job of with the the DC line, even though I don't you know follow these, is they're really starting to get uh, ingrained and embedded with these crossovers um, between the work. Which is a cool concept. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know, there's a lot of shows afraid to cross that barrier, but I thought it was cool. Like you know, Flash and Supergirl and Arrow. Uh, you know, sort of working together, and then you, you have this whole Gotham component. It's kind of this, a good slow build of a uh, of general universe. You know, I I right. look back before there were other things to bounce off of when uh, when Smallville was the big dog in town. Uh, I had it. Smallville. A, it, small, ah. Smallville had man that that had such a long run. Ten years, I think. It ten was. years, ten years, and you know that that was an example of a show that really had to stand on its own two feet that didn't have uh, the rest of these two. You know, uh, but I it. believe that is where we got the roots for Arrow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I'm getting. Let me get back to the controversial stuff that yeah. isn't really controversial, but people are making controversial. <laughs> um, okay. And that's that's obviously her sexual orientation, and I guess some people are kind of pinging off her religion too. Hmm. Uh, look, I I get it. I get where people come from on this, especially because the writer that's behind this, I guess. Uh, Works a lot in in these um, these things of sexual orientation and such. Right. Um, here's I, I'm I'm only going to care depending on how much they, they make this an issue. Like if this show is going to be, be and, and what has me a little concerned is because these CW shows are very angsty. Right. They, you know they they're geared towards teens. Uh, although they're not, you know, they're not just for teens. They, they, you know, they, they are. They're kind of, they're kind of tilted in that direction, right? Um, you know, I just, you know, if they make it a big deal, I'm going to get sick of it. You know, I, I get it because it is a part of the character's identity, and it has been a part of this particular character's identity for a while. And you know, I understand at the same time, hey, we have ratings and look different, and you know, I, I get that. But if they, if they really push on this too much, I'm going to get bored as shit really quick <laughs> and stop watching i don't care you know i and i and i understand you know it's going to be part of angles because part of superhero tv show angles is love interests and you know bad guys using the person's love interest against them and always 
for bad guys and good guys fall in for someone who, you know, they can't know their secret identity and they can't understand the life that they live. And you're always upsetting them because you're fighting crime and should be, <laughs> you know, all that. I understand that, that's a that's a part of superhero life, especially in the CW world. I get that, but if they're like uh, lesbian this, lesbian that, blah blah blah, it's like, oh, all right, click. Yeah, you uh, you lose you lose the theme if you put too much specificity on it. So, and and, and I think I think some themes are better. Just you know, knowing that's there, knowing that's this is something that's attributed to that character. Just just leave it alone. Just let the story tell itself. Like, and and that's not to say that the character shouldn't have some realistic struggles with the fact that um you know with bias right and and such but i mean it really if this is if, if it ends up being a major focus of the show that's not interesting all yeah. right that's so we'll we'll see a lot of people are pinging off this stuff right now though it's kind of hilarious <laughs> um you know settle down Watch and see what they do. You know, you'll get a good taste of what they're thinking about doing in December, and make your decision from there. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, but it's cool. They're branching out into Gotham, and we will. I'm sure we will eventually see Batman in there finally in the in the CW uh, Arrowverse, and uh, you know, we'll find out more about how Isaac feels about that because he's kind of our resident DC guy. I'll right. we'll ask him about this on Saturday. I'm sure he's going to have some opinions on it too. So, oh yeah. Cool. All right, so I went. I went too long on that one. Sorry. Oh no. Well, I mean, this is a, isn't exactly a character you see pop up every day, and it's nope. something like this, so not worth it. How about uh, how about Joker Origin? Yeah. We we got a we got a release date for this, and we got the uh, the name. Guess the name. Ha ha ha. No. Um. Nah. What the uh, jokes on you? Last joke. I don't know. Did Wait. you? Re- okay, you really didn't look. We no, I, I honestly no, I honestly didn't look. All right. Here's the name. Joker. <gasps> I know, right? <laughs> Screams originality. Joker. Uh, I mean, couldn't it couldn't have been like a Joker? Uh, you know, a, a story of you know crime and mystery or right. you know intrigue. It, it should have had some kind of title under it. Right. It's just Joker. <laughs> All right, get out of here with this. Uh. October fourth, Joker, Joaquin Phoenix. More for this. I mean, fall. yeah, Scorsese's behind it. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry, October fourth, twenty nineteen. Ah, yeah, we got a ways here. We got a, we got a bit. This yeah, we got a buddy. We, we're pushing a year and a half. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, okay. Whatever. <laughs> it'll be. It'll be a thing. Yeah. I. Yeah. It, we. We got really nothing else yet. So. I, I know. Um, I I will comment on this like I did. I think we talked about this on the show this last week uh, for Joker origin story, I, and I'm fine with it. But Joaquin Phoenix is, I think, in his 40s or 50s. Right. Hmm. Whatever. Well, the you know the last thing they they could use for the aesthetic with this having such a straight up front name is to, I have to ask if you see anything. Is, do they just have like a Joker card or something? Oh, I I didn't see that. Okay. I, I don't think there's any art yet. Okay. Okay. I, Correction. Yeah. All right. Put put that on the Isaac doc. Joker. Cool. Joker. What about Overlord? (laughs) Overlord. Got a trailer finally. I've been watching this one all year. You've been hearing me talk about this movie off and on all year. Yeah, and I'm like, you're like, like, what? I'm like, dude, I got, I got nothing for you. I got no reference point. So this was rumored for a very long time to be the next Cloverfield movie. This was going to be Cloverfield 4. But J.J. A- Abrams came out a few months ago and said, not Cloverfield 4, we're doing an appropriate full-on Cloverfield sequel for, for, uh, for Cloverfield 4, which is awesome. But that means nice. that this is not it. It is not in the Cloverfield universe, which is fine, because when you're talking about World War II going behind enemy lines... You know, you're you go into a Nazi run castle and they're <laughs> they're demons and zombies and <laughs> cult stuff and it's like, you know, it, this trailer's awesome. I've been I've been looking literally about once a month I was like, Is there an overlord trailer <laughs> yet? The trailer yet? And we got one and it's awesome. This is actually uh, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched a bit before we started. I I was uh like a lot of people have said I instantly got some Wolfenstein. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are saying Call of Duty Zombies. Yeah. I never played it, but that's I guess that's a thing too. 
Well, or more like they were probably just saying Call of Duty with zombies. Uh, I, to my knowledge, dude, I don't think we've ever had a Call of Duty with zombies. Yeah, I think I think we have, and I think it was supposed to be like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I know Fitz is in there. You have no idea who Fitz is. No idea. No, he's from Angels of Shield. He's in there. Uh, yeah, it looks it looks great. You know, people. You know, he, well, at the same time, a lot of people are like uh, zombies are so tired and done. You don't get that around here. Around here, we at least Jason and I, we love our zombies, <laughs> and we're all about the zombies, and we're gonna be all about the zombies for a while. So, I'm not even listening to you. Go, go, go talk about how zombies are tired and done while we're enjoying all the zombie stuff that's coming out. So, uh, yeah, very much looking forward to this. It's been on my list literally all year. There you go. There you go. So, And it's going to be on there for a little bit longer because with this announcement, it got pushed back to Jan- or January, uh, November 9th. Oh, okay. Okay. Boo. Who hits? It was, yeah, it was like the last scary movie that was coming out in October. Like, it's perfect. Halloween. It's Halloween time. And I can't stand it when they make these scary movies and they put them out after Halloween. Um, yeah. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> you had a, you had one chance. Yeah, one it's, it's yeah, it's time. It's it's time for pumpkin pie and pumpkin, you know. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, uh, and pumpkin drinks, pumpkin cider, pumpkin everything. Yeah, because you know why? Because we're past we're past Halloween. We gutted all the pumpkins. <laughs> And now it's time to make stuff out of that. And it's time to think about Thanksgiving and stuff. I, I'm very upset about that. I was very yeah. much looking forward to seeing this before Halloween. You get the whole fall vibe. I'm sure they have their reasons, but I'm sure they're probably not good enough. Well, well, uh, don't forget your trendy pumpkin spice latte. That can that can cheese you up about all this. Yep, sure yep, yep. But yeah, bad, another bad robot film by uh, produced by J.J. Abrams. So cool. I've been a big fan of these. I'm a big fan of Bad Robots. And go. All right. All right, yeah, nice. On to on to Star Wars, uh, Clone ah, Wars. It's coming back. This will probably be one of my favorite things this weekend. This, all right. Here's the thing about this. Now you have now. I'm sure you've seen the Clone Wars, right? Definitely, you, no, definitely the Clone Wars. Right. You've seen it though. So all right. So for those of you who don't know, Clone Wars was the cartoon that well, Lucasfilm was doing pre Disney. Um, it, it was after they, they came out with it after episode three, but it is the Clone Wars that happens between episodes two and three. It's the story of the Clone Wars. It's an anthology series. They don't necessarily come out in order, um, but it's, it's been an anthology series for the most part. It was you know the first couple of years were kind of iffy. People were like, yeah, what a, right. but it, it really caught on, and it it has been the standard for the cartoons and for the lore. Uh, in, in for expanding the Star Wars universe to the point, even where wow. Disney, when Disney did get it, and they got the, the you know they got Lucasfilm and they redid Star Wars, and they dumped all this uh, Legends stuff, all this stuff that's Legends now, the books and the games, and some of the games, some of those things were said that you know they were told they were canon. Right. They dumped all that stuff, but they kept Clone Wars. <laughs> so it's like you know the only thing that the only thing that's canon is the movies. And Clone Wars. There you and go. And that's it. Was that good? It's a great series. That's a big deal. But when Lucasfilm got taken over by Disney, they stopped Clone Wars. Mm. They, they they had just ended season five. There was it was still slated for season six, seven, and eight. Wow. Yeah. And they cut it. They cut it off. And they started making Rebels, and everyone was pissed about that. But then Rebels actually ended up being pretty good. <laughs> Um, so it was forgiven, but everyone wanted an ending to this because we, I mean, we know how the Clone Wars ends from episode three, right? We've seen it, but what happened in between there? And we got, um, we, we got a handful of episodes that were finished. The lost episodes that came out on Netflix. I think we get about six, six or eight. Something. It's been, a, it's been a little while. Um, but that was it. There, there's been some animated storyboards that have shown up uh, on on YouTube. There's been a lot of stories at cons and panels about what they were going to do. I think some of the stories were turned into books, right? But um, but yeah, for the we we lost this. Yeah, yeah. Now they did they did a tenth anniversary Clone Wars panel, and out of nowhere, bitches are like, "Oh, by the <laughs> way, 
this <laughs> and and they announced uh they announced that they're gonna do one more season they're gonna oh, uh, see that that's the best this this takes me back to how i felt when they announced samurai jack was gonna have a final season out of nowhere like th- there's some series that are just they're so good they they just leave off on a funny point you're always like man is somebody gonna revisit that is someone gonna do it uh, th- this is great. I, I these are the kind of stories I like to hear, and I I love when a an awesome show can be revisited and get the ending it deserves. Um, well, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things to this. So so we got half we got like well I'd say about a third of season six with those lost episodes, mm-hmm. and then we're not going to get anything in season seven, but we're going to get twelve episodes, and it's going to focus on the main story that was going to happen. Which literally the plan was to lead it up to, I believe it either happens the moment before the Battle of Coruscant, and like at the beginning of episode three, or it happens concurrently. Oh, holy crap! Yeah, and and it mainly involved uh, Ahsoka and the Mandalorians. Cool. And um, now I don't know if you remember. I've shown you a few things from the Clone Wars, but uh, Maul, Darth Maul. Just wrecked all kinds of shits over on Mandalore <laughs> and ended up taking them over. You remember? I, I showed you some of that. Yeah, the we, black lightsaber and stuff and all. Right. That. All right. So that's where a lot of that's gonna it's gonna evolve around that. So uh, we're gonna see a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, so we're not gonna get the whole rest of the series that they did, but we are gonna get an end to it. We're gonna get an end to it, and it's gonna lead right into Episode Three. Um, now this is Disney doing their thing first awesome on them, a step in the right direction for the hardcore old school fans. Um, you yeah. know, old school guys like me who grew up within the eighties and then the generation after who had the, uh, who had the prequels were all very happy. I was about to say that this is the time more than ever. Star Wars needs a pick me up. Yes, it does. And this is a good step in the right direction. This yeah. is great. All right, so now here's here's Disney doing their thing, and I actually applaud them for this. I'm fine with this. Mm-hmm. So when does this premiere? This premieres in 2019 on the new Disney streaming station. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, you know, I saw that. There and it like, is. Ah, you coy motherfuckers. There Sorry it is. Sorry for swearing. Is <laughs> I, I knew there was going to be at least one f bomb talking about this in there. <laughs> <laughs> You got me. I don't mind it either. I'll pay it. I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll gladly pay it. Yeah. <clears throat> and thank you. And may I have more? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you actually will have more because then you still get the live action Star Wars TV show that's going to be coming out. I believe around the same time. There you have it. So yeah. So that's when you're going to get it. 2019. Um, probably fairly soon into that. Now we've talked about this on our show a lot about the whole thing with Netflix and Disney and how they're going to part ways and such. Right. And a lot, you know, I mean, if you're going to launch a streaming station, this is how you do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, boom! How do you sell millions of subscriptions instantly? <laughs> this will do right it. Here. Yeah, this is how you do it. <laughs> and it's you know, and how do you keep them? Then you keep them with your new weekly live action show yep um but I, yeah i'm thrilled about it. this was great this is probably going to be one of the biggest things for me in this comic con this was awesome and uh, good. You know, good and it is just you know congrats all around for keeping this a secret <laughs> that is not easy to do no and this is great and now i don't know how much of the Clone words you watched in the past but it was shocking watching this tra- you did watch the trailer right oh yeah Oh, that's a good trailer. Do you see how? Did you see how Anakin looked there at the end? Yeah, he looks so close to you know that. Yeah, they're, he's they're nearing it. You, they're telling you that too. Is like you're really close. Because, and that's been one of the things about the show is that they, you know, you can see as it evolves through time where they are as you know they're getting closer and closer and closer to Episode Three, right? And right. you can see there in that trailer, he, they're they're right there. They're yeah. touching on the. They're touching on the bottom of the surface with it now, uh, so I'm very much looking forward to that. That's one of the. That's going to be one nice, of the biggest man. highlights this year. I'm sorry, and I, I'm trying to keep things short. I keep, no. <laughs> I keep shorter though, but sorry, right. we're talking about all these things. Next ones will be short though. Nah, no, no, hey, hey, you, you got to give some dude. Star Wars getting a bright patch. I'm, I'm down with that. So. Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome to be a Star Wars fan for like the first time in <laughs> about a year. <laughs> Hopefully, it keeps going. Oh. Yeah. All right. How about glass? 
we got some uh, some teasers for this one. Uh, this yeah. is now this is building up to a uh, trailer release we're gonna get tomorrow. Yep. And uh, just little peeks into it. If you all remember uh, M Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable from the early two thousands, this is with Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, we have learned, of course, as we mentioned this in our show too. This is tied into a large universe. It's not just Unbreakable we're talking about. But uh, we're ta- and I'm so bad with his name. Uh, the, the the fellow who plays a young Professor X. I'm, oh, uh, McAvoy, Split Ma- guy. Thank you, McAvoy and Split. I don't know what his character. I haven't seen Split yet. I'm actually going to make sure to see that this weekend. So until I actually see it, he's Split guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's his name. Split guy. Split guy. Uh, but yeah, this, the, these are uh, these three characters are all part of a large universe. They are going to all be in this movie. Uh, we're Chris and I are both pretty excited about this one. I yes. I loved Unbreakable. I'm uh, really excited to see this just just coming back like uh, out of nowhere. So I uh, have stuff to stay tuned for tomorrow. This is one I'm gonna keep prime and locked on. Hopefully, it doesn't it, hopefully this doesn't come on while I've gone out to see uh, Equalizer two because which you will have a review for. I will. I will. I'll be. Uh, I'll be catching that. But hopefully, it will be equalizing a review. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, uh, it doesn't. Well, I mean, I guess you know, it's not like if you miss the premiere, it won't be everywhere. So, uh, hey, you know. Just I'll just keep I'll just <laughs> seriously like if this is the best part it's something really fun about Comic Con like you can if you're you're looking for news on a specific topic seriously just like lock in the hashtag like uh, like SDCC 2018 whatever you're looking for boom guarantee you you will see mm-hmm. what what happened at this panel what happened with this trailer it, it, you'll find loads for it so not hard that's what it should. Yeah, very much looking forward to this. Uh, this is one of the, the bigger things I've been wanting for this Comic Con is to see the actual glass trailer. I want to. I want to see these guys. Want to see them in action. They came out with a couple pictures last week. That's not enough. It's not. That's it's not. that's not enough. That's not the cheese curds I need to hold me off until <laughs> the meal. You need some more fiber in your diet, man. Oh, well, <laughs> why, <laughs> why are you commenting like that? I don't understand. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, you got all this talk, you need some cheese curds. I'm just like, you No, I didn't out. say I needed cheese curds. I said that was not the cheese curds I needed to hold me off until the meal. Well, then then, then, then have the fiber. Was, and... I'm still hungry. Oh, it's, okay, then have the oh, fiber. Oh, so and... what you're saying is I should be eating the bread they've Yeah, eat yeah, it'll, it'll fill you up. And... and then I'll be ruining my meal. Yeah. See? All right. Now you're following. I don't, yeah, I broke your analogy. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> Speaking of eating all kinds of things that you shouldn't, Godzilla. Yes, ha. my my boy, <laughs> the OG, Big G, <laughs> Big G, coming around. Uh, we got a teaser trailer for King of the Monsters. Uh, did you watch this? No. Okay, you didn't miss much. This one. Okay, but at the same time, you missed more than you ever should have. <laughs> in, in what is in what is. One of the most laughable mistakes that you've ever seen in professional film. Uh, about halfway through the trailer, you can clearly see a cameraman. <laughs> it is hilarious. <sighs> it is absolutely hilarious. People are making fun of that nonstop. It's completely getting lost. That this is the, the trailer. The teaser itself is kind of shit. Right. Um, it, it's kind of fun. You have you're not you haven't watched Stranger Things. I was going to say you're not a fan. I mean, you're not a fan, but you're not not a fan. But you haven't watched it. Right. Uh, so, but you know who Eleven is, right? Yes, that I do. Uh, yeah, so she's she's in this, and uh, basically you have her trying to reach somebody by radio, mon- the Monarch Science Station, um, and what you can hear in the background is giant monsters destroying things and eating people. <laughs> so, and that's and that's your trailer. Oh, and the cameraman. <laughs> I think that's what makes it even worse is that there's so little in this teaser that it's like, oh, look at the camera, look at the cameraman. <laughs> This is man. This is gold. I mean, look this. This is an era where we can dig for the most like minute detail of like something that's off, or like people will, like like with Hawkeyes, like zoom in on it. But right, you, you don't get a slow ball like this. Because no, that's... and that's the, that's the whole thing though. Is that like I mean, it's not something where people like hyper analyze this thing and right. It. No, it's like he's right there. <laughs> it, it's kind of <laughs> like he's part of the scene, but he's not part of the scene. He's the cameraman. Uh, uh, very much looking forward to this. Godzilla is one of my heroes. I and I mean that. That's a good a hero. Kid. 
Yeah, it is good here. It's King of the Monsters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I loved the first one. I've not seen the the uh, uh, the King Kong movie that came out. That's kind of a prequel that is connected to this. Um, they're in the same universe. Uh, I have not seen that yet. I'm not a big fan of King Kong. Whatever. He's just a monkey. But I don't, I'm not a fan of monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> have we ever talked about that? No, no. So wait, let me. So okay, not a fan of monkeys. I, real quick, you no. don't like Donkey Kong either. Like, no, not too much. Okay, I, I, I just don't like monkeys. You never, you you never told me. Yeah, that and birds. I don't like birds either. Oh, see, see, now we're at odds in that. I love birds. No, screw them. <laughs> I've been attacked by birds several times in my life. So. Whoa, man. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not about the birds. And monkeys scare me <laughs> because they seem like people, but they're not. <laughs> that's actually that's actually a really good reason to yeah. find them creepy. Yeah, I, no, I, I don't see trust, that. I don't trust him because he's like, oh, look at the monkey. And then the next thing you know, he's smearing his poo on your face. <laughs> or he's ripping your whole face off. And then he'll smile about it. Yeah. So, no, I don't trust the monkeys. <laughs> um, so, but, yeah, so now, if you go to the Science Monarch website, you're going to get a little bit more information about what's going on here. We're going to get some Mothra action. Uh, right we're going to get a couple other classic giant monsters. Um, I don't want to ruin it for you. Go and check it out, and hopefully we get a legit trailer soon. We did get an image, a poster image last week of Godzilla shooting lightning up in the air, and it doesn't get much more epic than epic. that. Epic. So here we go. 2019 for that. Um, but Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Right on. Right on. As he should be. You know, I was thinking about the uh, the original uh, Godzilla. They had the Oh, golly, I forget his name. The fellow that uh, that played him, and they, they they were just actually just talking to him, going through a commentary. I will get you that video if I can. That find guy it, cannot but... still be alive. Pretty sure he is. Oh my! Those movies, the first guys look came out in like nineteen thirties. I know, man. It, it ain't people, you know. What was he five when he did it? Five. <laughs> because if he was if he was born in nineteen thirty. He's pushing eighty right now, so, and he clearly wasn't born. No, then. he clearly, clearly was not born then. So he's he's like legit pushing around a hundred. Yeah, they, I know he's talking about the uh, the body suits, and they were like, so, let, "Let me let me dig around with that. Don't let me." They forget. were horrible. Oh, yeah, they were horrible. But I, I I specifically remember he made a comment about how he was the best Godzilla. <laughs> you know, I think I'm like, yeah. yes, I was the best <laughs> guy acting like a <laughs> lizard walking down the street, Wait. crushing. Clay, uh, clay, crushing, uh, cr- blah, blah. <laughs> crushing cray, cray. Hey, never mind. I can't talk. I forget it. When you, I get, give up. when you get your niche, you get your niche. No, yeah. be the best at it. I'll be the best ever. All right. No, you, you could be. You got. I, you. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. It's on the bucket list. <laughs> I was talking to somebody about this earlier today too, because of the Godzilla news. <sighs> I'm gonna walk down the streets of Japan in a Godzilla suit. Priceless. And what I, what I thought about today was I need to have a friend come with me, and they need to wear another monster suit. <laughs> and then we could have a fight right in the street. <laughs> that, that would is, be the best. That is, that, is, that is such a you thing to do. That would be great. And it will go on for an absurd amount of time, until, or until the police make us stop. You know what? In Japan, if you can have stuff like Ladybeard, that's a thing. Don't let me forget that either. I'll have to show you what that is. Lady Beard? Lady Beard. If you can have stuff like Lady Beard around, you, you could have a Godzilla fight in broad daylight. Anyway, that's for, that's for another time and place. <laughs> but, all right. All right, moving right along in our news. Uh, we got a, on the DC side here, we got a brand spanking new trailer for the Titans, Titans. series. Now, and I'm not talking about the, the cute and cuddly teen Titans that we love I animated. Uh, Teen we, Titans Go! And I'm talking about a very uh, angsty, dark Robin. I'm talking about a very dark Raven and uh, the rest of the crew. Uh, here it is. Th- this is an attempt to do a live uh, action a version of the Teen Titans, who aren't really looking like a whole lot like teens in this, maybe except Raven. Uh, we, we've only got a little bit on this so far. It looks like the, the story heavily focuses on Robin and Raven uh, starting out. In fact, Robin... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Raven uh, goes to find uh, him. Uh, she, I suppose, finds out about the firm he's working for, like the detective agency he's a part of, and 
she there's something she needs help piecing together or uh, doing. But this is a this is immediately a very dark, very gritty look, which DC is you know yeah. known for naturally. Uh, it, here, here's the thing with this: uh, it, the trailer itself, we get to see uh, Robin more leaning towards uh, some Nightwing inclinations there, even though he's he is Robin here. Uh, of course, uh, Raven, and then Starfire too. Now, was that Starfire? Yeah. Was that supposed to be Starfire? Oh, oh, it is. You, you, in fact, here you want to know the best part. Do you have that? Confi- that's yeah, I, that is confirmed. That is that Starfire using fire, which she doesn't use fire. I know she doesn't. It shouldn't even be a thing. <laughs> you know. By the way, you have to pay to watch this. I'm gonna. I'm. Did you I'm, I'm it up yet? No, I didn't. I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna sum this up. Uh, there was a. There was a random YouTube user I came across. It just. This just made me smile. Uh, who he had a very simple quote about this. Uh, fellow's name is Brandon Hamilton. Thank you. He did not. It wasn't a comment on our channel. He just commented about this in general. He said. Uh, so here's what you got. Robin's an edgy murderer. Raven is an emotional wreck. And uh, Starfire has actual fire. And Beast Boy stole Marty McFly's jacket. Was that Beast Boy? That was Beast Boy. But isn't he supposed to be green? Was he? Did, did I miss it? Was no, he green? he was green. Was he? I he, must have missed. He's that. pretty green. But but he so he's jumping into the air and it looks like we got a split second just before he goes into his, his transformation. We we don't actually get to see him pull you know one of his animal transformations. But it looks they like he can't started. pay for that. No no this no budget, no no not, trailer. not 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 with that not with that not for this trailer. Now, no, no one subbed yet. <laughs> now this goes back a bit because about three months ago there was some there was some controversy. Now the the actress playing uh, playing Starfire, uh, I believe her name is uh, Anna uh, Anna Anna Dio, sounds like a opera or something. I just want to sing that a few times. Anna Dio, mm. Anna Dio. Anyway, yeah. Uh, about three months or so ago there was a, a leaked photo or two uh, that that came out of a picture from the set. Uh, of Starfire, I guess, in more casual get-up for Starfire is looking. Of course, it immediately freaks some people out. They're saying, oh my gosh, this is terrible. This is how this is going to look. Uh, she did not take to this well because naturally a whole storm followed after that and, you know, the, the insults and the speech and all that. So, um, this is this is one that has sort of had some bears on its back before it really even had a chance to fully blossom. And now that we're actually seeing uh, trailer footage for this, I- I'm instantly worried. Now, and th- this isn't, look, I, without Marvel aside, you know, I'm willing to totally remove all that. And look, in fact, Teen Titans, Teen Titans Go, I love that. That That's, that's super fun. I like fun. Teen Titans. You know what? A lot of people complain about Teen Titans Go. I like it. Yeah. But not when I say that. I say that only because I've only ever caught it first thing in the morning or at the end of the night. Right. When my brain is half gone. <laughs> And at that point, they did stuff that's funny. That's about where my brain is at that point. So, okay, so now I'm getting... A, okay, so that's Starfire. Yeah. All right, go ahead and go ahead and please finish. I'm sorry. No, no, I, no. No, no. I, I want to make sure you... I've got this image now. I, okay. I looked it up. I, I went on the interwebs. Yeah, I... Look, I, I'm, I'm instantly worried about about this. You know, the the whole... The, the grid and the, the, the edge thing, it... There's there's situations where where that can work and everything, but it, it's and, and I and I and I see the attempt here. You you don't you don't want to be in the direct vein of where Teen Titans Go is, and and you know to kind of take things away of the of the more upbeat uh, nature of that. But I, man, this is this has got some five alarm warning bells. I'm I'm seeing on it. I I just I'm really not digging this. I'm just okay. I'm not feeling it. All right, can can I add a couple things? Yeah. Um Okay, so you're going to have to pay to watch this. 7.99 a month. <laughs> this is going to be a part of the DC streaming channel, which is not a bad idea. Right. Uh they have a lot of great cartoon content, a lot of it. Yeah. I think the price point's too high. If you're looking at 3 or 4.99, yeah. I might I might actually do that for a little while. I'm you know I get a hankering for some some old Batman the anim- animated series. Heck yeah. yeah, I might run through that for a couple months. Um, I'm not worried about this though, Ian. Yeah, you you want to know why? Hmm. Because this sob is dead in the water right now. <laughs> this thing's done. There's nothing to worry about. This is like this is like if you were down at the river and like you found a dead person's body. <laughs> 
going down <laughs> his chest. And he, you poke it with a bear, or not you poke it with a bear, you poke it with a stick a couple times, <laughs> call the cops. But there's nothing to worry about no. <laughs> because it's already dead. Oh. This, yeah, this I I watched this one too. This was very cringy. Yeah, it was like now. So now, where where does this take place? Please tell me at this point this takes place in its own universe because I could see it actually fitting in any of the DC universe. Yeah, I could too. <laughs> you could take your pick on this one. Um, and no cyborg. I saw no cyborg. No cyborg. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Beats, All right. beats me, man. DC DC does it wrong again. Sorry. <laughs> and I know that might piss some people off, but sorry. I know. Um, it, it's constant uphill. Constant. Done. Yeah. So. All oh, right. Well. well, also on the show side, uh, we did get a lot of info for Iron Fist Season 2. Now, there was a, a couple of components of this event. They had part of the Marvel live stream event where the cast uh, sort of did a really short Q&A. Just kind of came on and, and, and talked a little bit about some of the things to that to be expected and what's going to be upcoming here. And uh, we did get a little bit of news. But this is going to be out September seventh on Netflix. Uh, and there's a few changes to the uh, the staff uh, here as well. We got a new showrunner, uh, Raven Metzner, who wants to put a really heavy focus on improving the fight choreography. Now this is important. Look, Iron Fist is pr- probably one of the premier martial artists of when you talk about Marvel. Or, like, hero characters. Yeah. I mean, the, the guy is good. And, I mean, he, he's got that name for a reason. Part of uh, what's always... He killed a dragon! Thank you! Thank you! You know, part part of the fun of seeing this guy pop up is you know, his, his awesome action sequences. It's what it's known for. And one thing that the Netflix Season 1 got panned for was, uh, you know, n- not having those scenes as exciting or high-end as you'd imagine. For an Iron Fist production, so right. I mean, he should those scenes. He should be having moments in that show, which we thought the show was fine, right? But um, he should be having moments in that show, mo- more moments like what Daredevil has had, like the the stairwell Thank scene, you. Or yep. the hallway scene. He should not only be having bigger moments like that; he should be having more of them. In yes, that show. yes, absolutely. And you know, uh, this is something that uh, that the teams paid attention to. They have heard that. Uh, and they are trying to return in kind. Uh, they've also brought in uh, a choreographer here. You might know from a little movie, Black Panther. Uh, this is Clayton Barber, and uh, mm-hmm. he did you know all the the, the the scenes and the work for that. So now he's going to be leading uh, this season's stunts and uh, the majority, of course, the the fight scenes and actually setting things up. So uh, that that's awesome. Um, instantly got some good you know some solid expectations from that, and I, I really hope of uh, one of the core pieces this series can deliver on. Hey, it should be right here. And uh, that's what they're pushing for. Now, uh, one other cool tidbit here. Uh, Alice Eve is confirmed to be playing uh, Typhoid Mary. Uh, now, this this has got some really cool crossover potential. If any big comic nerds out there right now, I only I first I first remember her, uh, I found out about her through the side, through X-Men or something. I think it was the first time I ever heard of her. But she was a mutant with like uh, telekinetic powers. She she did uh, performed assassins, worked for anybody from Kingpin, uh, all kinds of shady groups. But she also had a multiple personality disorder. So uh, a a, a kind of cool character that you see that's benched most of the time. I you know I we've never heard any inklings of her popping up in uh, from Marvel Studios, the MCU at large, and everything like that. And, uh, a cool kind of left field. Uh, unexpected character, huh. but a character yeah. that that does have plenty of lore behind them in Marvel. So, uh, so who knows if she's actually going to be the big bad or if she is just going to be in the side. I'm thinking she's going to be more of a kind of operative, you know, in the wings on the sideline. But uh, just with how she's crossed over before and you know who's the whose backyard she's been in, uh, this is cool. This is another good link yeah. we have between Netflix shows. So. Yeah, that's no, that's very interesting to put uh, Iron Fist against the telekinetic. Yeah. See how he deals with that. Plus, uh, of course, you know, uh, one of the coolest things I enjoyed from the live panel was having uh, uh, Misty Stone talking with uh, Colleen uh, a little bit. And, and she was basically doing some comparisons to, to where she was in uh, Luke Cage to where she'll be here. And this will be this will be fun, too, uh, seeing how she interacts with Colleen, you know, following Luke Cage season two. Uh, and you know, coming off of, we're gonna get more misty. Yeah, 
She's going to be here. Ah, cool. Yeah. Rob- robotic arm and all. <laughs> nice. Nice. So. Now, hey, I'm, I must have missed this when you first said it. I apologize. This yeah. is coming out September 7th? Yes. <gasps> That's not that far away. It's not. Get your nappy in, Ian. <laughs> it's oh, PG time soon. No, no. <laughs> not again. <laughs> it's a... Uh... Uh, it's a running thing around here. You, you love know. to hate it, and you hate to love it. Uh, I do, I do, you know, I I traditionally am not much of a binge watcher. I really have to kind of train myself. It, 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 the thing is, you know, when I get into it, I enjoy it. Look, I love stuff to do with comics, shows that I like, but man, the grind, it just, ah. Uh. You, you know what, though? We only have, you know, we're not, we don't have a lot slated for September this, this coming September, though, yeah. so. yeah. It's not that bad, but I bet you anything, the one thing we do have slated is going to be that same weekend. Yeah. <laughs> that's our luck. Of course. That's, that's how it goes. Of course. Of course. Cool. I'm looking forward to it. There's a lot of there's a lot of potential here. There with, is. With Iron Fist. I mean, it was the show was fine. It had its problems. It was definitely the weakest of of all their outings so far, but there's a lot of potential there. And uh I hey, and you know, if you want to give me more Colleen, I'll take it. <laughs> so hey, and, amen to that, right? <laughs> yeah. And some more misty, I'll take it. Um Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Good deal, man. Alright, last but not least, now this is one that is coming not so much in the heels of Marvel, but more on the heels of horror. Uh, that is sci-fi space horror based off of a uh, novel by R.R. R. Martin. That is Night Flyers. Uh, now, this is going to be getting its own show, its own uh, series, actually. We got our first real full trailer for this, uh, looking at it. And, you know, the the first look for the show is actually roughly back in March, at least some of the first heads up. Uh, from Martin himself was saying this will kind of be like uh, Psycho in Space. Uh, the the basic mm-hmm. theme here is that the uh, the Earth itself is decaying, it's dying off. Uh, there is is the crew of the Night Flyer ship. They're going in, into deep space um, to quote Star Trek. Whether anybody's gone before, <laughs> whatever you want to put with that. Oh and, my God, what'd you just do? I know, right? I butchered it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a deep space journey, trying to uh, charter some uh, new territory and really uh, chart the course for humanity's best hope of survival. Uh, of course, that doesn't go to plan. Uh, we get malfunctions galore uh, as the trip itself gets underway. A bunch of the crew uh, gets killed. They realize something is wrong with the ship and that it can't make it back to Earth. And then the night flyers show up. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> did, did I have it right? Yeah. I don't know much. anything about this. <laughs> it sounds like it, though. Pew, pew. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah. It's the Night Flyers. Man, I can't. I, uh, yeah. I, sorry. The last sci-fi. I'm trying to remember the last sci-fi show I was into um, that I that I followed regularly. Star Trek doesn't count. Take that off the dock. Because uh, a lot of us watched Next Generation. That was, I know I did Next yeah. Generation, Deep Space Nine. Man. Uh, oh, I, I know. Uh, well, no, you were supposed to watch it. Um, Star Star Trek the new one. Uh, oh the, yeah, I, I uh, the the yeah, prequel CBS to the original. Access or whatever. Yeah, I I I shot Mad Hooky from that. Big big time. Yeah, it's, I think it's on Netflix now. Cool, cool. But yeah, if if you're looking for your sort of space opera, space art, keep an eye on this one. Uh, how it turns out and how it develops, especially if you're a fan of the books or if you read them. Uh, all that being said, I have not read said books. So. Well, and we've we've well established that I can't read. Oh, we know so, that, so yeah. I'm, I'm not even going to ask you. <laughs> yeah, so I can't, I'm not going to read that. Give me, give me just pictures. Give me a pop-up book. <laughs> you a flip book with basic concepts. Yeah. And then with the things that you like on the side where you make the arm move by pulling the the little yeah. piece at the side. <laughs> make the night flyer move. Oh man. <laughs> I, why why could I why could I see you doing that with your kids? Because I totally would do that. Yeah, you would. You you would. I mean, if I went to a doctor's office and like there were magazines and all that stuff, but I saw one of those books, the little pop up book with the thing you could move the arms, I would I would open that. I would pick that. <laughs> little kid would probably look at me. I was going to look at that. Too bad, kid. Too bad. <laughs> wait till wait till I'm done. 
I got to figure out the puzzles too. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. But hey, all right. that is that's going to bring us uh, to a close for today's coverage. We got here uh, tomorrow. I'm expecting that to explode like a bomb. Uh, there's yeah, going to yeah. be tons, tons of good stuff to cover, and uh, I'm going to catch as much of that as I can. Of course, in between uh, equalizing the rest, I tried to clean my schedule as much as I can, so I should be on. All right, man. Jason and I got it. You, you, you got the dead stuff. All right. We, we, Jason and I got it. You, but send us, you know, send us what you want. All right, all right. And maybe we'll use it. <laughs> All right. yeah, J- yes, Jason and I tomorrow. It, it is a lot of the, the biggest thing is the Walking Dead stuff still, and, and I, you know, yeah, it's it's losing steam, and it's probably its last big year at, at the Comic Con, and that's, I mean, that's the truth probably, but, um, you know, and then what you Isaac and I on Saturday, yep, covering that. I mean, that's when the nuke goes off. Is, yeah, uh, it's Saturday, and you know, we'll cover anything else that was missed that we happen to see. Uh, but yeah, yeah, um. Friday's going to be fun. Cool. Friday's going to be good stuff. Day two. Here we let go. It, let us know. Let us know what you think of our coverage. Um, comment below. Tell us what you thought. What some of your favorite things were from uh, from Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, what you thought was dumb from Wednesday and Thursday. We'd <laughs> like to hear that, too. If that was something at Comic-Con or us. <laughs> I can take it. Bring I it. I can take it. Uh, but, oh, and subscribe! Please subscribe and like. Help us out. Um, yeah. All right, good deal. But hey, thank you all for hanging with us up to this point. Stay tuned. We're gonna have more coverage. We're gonna have more movie reviews this weekend, and of course, our Saturday roundup for all this good stuff. But until then, take it easy. And we'll see you guys soon. Hey, people. Thank you for tuning into this episode and taking a listen. Uh, if you like our content, if you like what you're listening to, there anything to go over, hey, please, we would not only love to hear more from you, but if you're great, you could throw some support. You can subscribe right below. Also, you can toss us a line anytime. That's caseonmedia at gmail.com. Uh, of course, you can tune in for our channel anytime for movie reviews, game reviews, uh, a lot of random wacky stuff. Yet, who knows what you'll hear. And of course, our, our episode each week where we're bringing the nerdiest things we can find, dig up, and uh, maybe not find. Maybe the stuff that just drops in our laps. But uh, anyway, hey, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for listening. We hope to hear from you again later. Take care.